Hello, this is Frank Hackland, uh, the publisher of the ECAT World website, and I'm, uh, I thought I'd put a short video out today to talk about sort of my assessment of where things are following the uh, Latina ECAT EV test, which I attended in uh, Italy last week. And to me, it was a very uh, important uh, event. It was enjoyable as well as being very interesting. And I think it will prove to be probably a catalyst for a lot more interest for Andrea Rossi. Um, I don't think these things don't usually take off immediately, especially with the technology so um, without much reputation. Uh, generally speaking, the uh, mainstream media or even social media, there's not much mention of it. And I think that can change and I think it will change, but uh, for, for the time being, I think it's going to be fairly low key. <laughs> However, um, I think there's been a significant uh, people impressed by what was shown there and uh, I feel like there's going to be a a lot of inquiries going into Leonardo Corporation following that test and hopefully business deals can be done. Um, I started the ECAT World Channel as many of you know in 2011 so that's 13 years ago and I started the, the channel because I thought this was a topic that needed to be covered. I thought it was very important. And I also felt like there was not much serious attention being paid to it. Uh, so I, I felt like uh, I would take it upon myself to make a, a place on the web where the ECAT could be taken seriously and discussed and uh, reported on and I've kept up with the uh, with that since that time uh, as as many people know it's taken a long time to get to this place I mean originally I back in 2011 I was sort of expecting that there might be some movement early uh, even in that year but uh, that hasn't proven to be the case however uh, Andrea Rossi has worked relentlessly since that time on improving and developing his technology. And I think it's come to a point where, uh, you know, those early ECATs that were basically just heaters, um, they're, <laughs> they're ancient technology now in, in terms of the ECAT itself. And uh, I think this... Uh, Direct electricity production is certainly f a far, far improvement on uh, what he originally came up with, which was which was a heater, and of course heaters are useful, but with electricity you can do pretty much anything, and not only is it electricity generating, it's electricity generating without any input from any external source which is absolutely astonishing when you think about it. So uh, I came away from the Latino demonstration very convinced that uh, this was a tremendous breakthrough and uh, I was very also very impressed with the uh, contribution of Maiko Marzocchi, who was the engineer who basically integrated the ECAT into the um, into his own uh, electric vehicle, the, the uh, Renault Twizy. And I don't think this event would have happened unless he had made those uh, overtures to Rossi and, and Andrea Rossi responded. And I think that has been an extremely important partnership. I would say that um, f just in the last week or so, we've learned more 
from a collaborator with Rossi than I think we've learned from anybody in in his history. So the uh, the contribution and the the openness that uh, Michael has shown, uh, I think, gives a very uh, credible witness to the claims of Rossi, and I I'm really uh, glad to to have seen that. Uh, what happens next? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Um, Andrea Rossi has said that he will uh, do further demonstrations. He's talked about a heater demonstration that I think he's intending to do fairly soon. I don't know quite when. Um, but really we have to remember that uh, everything depends on Andrea Rossi at this point. Uh, he has been a very careful and protective of what he considers to be uh, his intellectual property and his um, trade secrets. Uh, he has definitely rejected the, the urging of some to open source the technology and give it as a gift to the world. Uh, that's just not his way of uh, operating. Um, I'm assuming I think we have to assume that there are investors behind him. Uh, I know nothing about those uh, that side of things at all. But uh, I think he has that uh, obligation to his investors to um, somehow give them give them back something in return for what they've uh, how they've supported him. And also, uh, I think that uh, he just considers that this is uh, something he just wants to uh, develop as a, an industrialist, as a businessman, as well as an inventor slash um, engineer. And uh, I, I just don't expect him to be uh, giving away the technology. And I think that's part of the reason why I, a lot of people have said, well, what was what was inside that box in the back of the Twizy and Twizy, and uh, even uh, Maiko was not allowed to look inside the box. I think if you're to open the box up, uh, you <clears throat> you would see things that Rossi considers to be intellectually uh, intellectual property that he doesn't want to uh, give away to competitors. So uh, I don't think we're going to get photos of opening the box. Um, which I know that's what some people want to see. So what does this mean for uh, ECAT World as a, as, a, as a website? I mean, I started the website with a... because I felt that this was a topic that was important. Um, I am now... I'm much more convinced... I mean, I've, I've always been convinced. I've always felt like this was a, a genuine technology and a... Um, but I'm more convinced now than ever that this is this is real, this is important, this is beneficial, and I'm going to try and do what I can to help bring awareness to it. Um, and I hope that uh, there will be greater awareness, and I hope that at some point we'll start to see these uh, ECAT-powered units uh, in in the world. I can't tell you when that's going to happen. I kind of expect it's not going to be easy to get to that point. So anyway, I don't know where things are going to go, but I do feel like um, it's very important to keep following and uh, spreading information about, about this technology. Um, and so that's what I plan on continuing to do. Thank you.